Hi there YouTube, this is Puck. In this video, as promised, uh, I'm gonna show you or I'm gonna help you to create a Windows XP Maxi Lite uh, yourself. Uh, but you will need you will need the original version of Windows XP Pro or you know any version. I think you should go for Pro because I created uh, my Lite version in Pro. So if you want exact the same thing, I think maybe you should go for Pro. But you could go for any other version, I think. Uh, I'm gonna give you my preset file, meaning that you won't have to do all the thinking and all the steps that you will need to do. Okay, first of all, you will need a program called Nlight. It's created by Dino Nuhi. And by starting up Nlight, you will have to uh, allow the system to start it up. And here you will see, welcome to Nlight and we're gonna hit next and up here um, you will have to select your uh, your CD-ROM drive where you have the DVD or the CD your installer of uh, yeah the original file of Windows that you want to kind of uh, how you call it uh, make light um, if you have an ISO file however and you unpack the ISO file into a folder then you can also just point to that folder alright and then the program will start reading and at the next step when that is done and in this in this case uh, let's see what's gonna happen if I hit next you see and up here I can you know select a session but I can also import you guys will have to import you guys won't have any session alright because it's the first time you're doing this so you're just gonna import and point to the little last session that I will you know include in the description so you can download it just point to it and then in fact everything will be created and only thing you will have to do is next 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 you don't have to select anything just go through the next 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 let the system be built and then at the end you will be able to create the ISO file alright uh, because this process is taking kinda uh, let, let me let me try to if I can import this let's see if I will import this I think it, it's already imported. Um, yes, whatever. And we go next, next. Here we're gonna select the things that we want to keep. But as you will see, everything is already selected. You just hit next. Uh, Bluetooth support. Maybe you need to fix this. Just say yes, fixed. Here you can do several things, such as uh, inserting your serial number. I will not show that part. It's here in general, because then you will see my serial. I, I'm not gonna share my serial. It's mine. I paid for it. So you know, um, up here you can select certain stuff. Be careful at um, uh, here at users not to add any password to you know the installer because it might go wrong so leave this open you know and when you did all your little settings up here you just hit next you know and then it's gonna build the system up here you can still you know uh, do some tweaks etc they are all been selected for you and then you just hit start the process and uh, when that is done this will go really fast because the process is already done then you just hit next and then up here you can create a, a, a image a image is an ISO file an ISO file you will be able to burn immediately to a CD so you can boot any computer with that CD okay uh, I think you will need a CD because most uh, old laptops they don't have USB bootable uh, uh, on board the BIOS will not uh, support that so um, you will create you must create a CD alright so just leave it on create image give the thing a name mine is called maxi light as you can see it's already filled in uh, up here you don't have to do anything just let, leave it default you know boot sector default etc 
and then you hit make ISO and then you will end up with a thing like this what you see here on my desktop so that's it in fact uh, you won't have to do the thinking I did all the thinking for you already uh, so only thing you will need is this little preset file and you will need uh, the file uh, from Dino Nuri uh, called Enlight and let's take a quick look at the website before we're gonna end this video because we don't in fact have to make it any longer so we're gonna go to the Enlight website so you can have an idea uh, what to do if you go to that site only thing you will have to do is of course uh, download uh, the Enlight little program and probably you will also need an uh, extra tool uh, for your uh, windows I did not need it because it was already installed here you can see it net framework 2.0 for 64-bit uh, here and for 32-bit x86 is 32-bit and x64 of course is 64-bit so depending on the system that you uh, created uh, my version was a, a normal 32-bit uh, version so you know um, I'm not sure if this is will also work on 64-bit I mean like uh, my uh, settings that I choose so I advise you to go for a 32-bit Windows XP professional and uh, yeah just run my preset file and you'll be good to go peeps this was my video I hope it helped out and I hope that many of you will continue the Windows XP Lite Maxi Maxi Lite project and create many uh, old computers out there that will still be uh, music players, DJ machines, uh, book writers, uh, uh, modules for uh, music uh, composing, recorders, name it, all the things uh, they, uh, they let you believe that you could not do anymore or because just the lack of you knowing that it's out there you know these devices are being thrown away given away so go ahead uh, find yourself a nice one give it a nice polish uh, and uh, start doing crazy things with it just the way I'm doing it here and you will have lots of fun besides using your high-end computers and tablets peeps this was my video thanks again for watching and uh, like subscribe and see you in my next video again bye bye